One thing that's really important when we're designing our visuals and preparing our visuals to be shown is this idea of guiding the eye of the audience. Especially if there are more complicated slides, we want to emphasize certain parts so that the audience will know where to look first, second, and third, and so on. And so that you can point out where you would like the audience to look at a, at a certain time. So for example, in this kind of slide, so there's lots of different elements going on and people are going to look all over the place. So how could you emphasize this? Well, you could use the Morph tool in PowerPoint or what I'm using here, the Magic Move in Keynote. So you could zoom in on something and then talk about it and then zoom back out. And what a lot of people do is just using something like an arrow, maybe move the arrow to emphasize or you know, circle or underline or something like that. And, and that's okay. But what I want to show you in this video is how to use the spotlight method, which is really simple, but it doesn't come built in, but it's really easy to do. And for example, it looks like this. So we can just spotlight like this and we can change the opacity to be, you know, um, completely opaque so that we can't see at all the background. You could do something like that if you want. But often it's kind of cool just to leave it like this and then move around to different parts, right? So this, the parts are part of the whole. So often we want to keep the whole there a little bit because it's related, but we want to emphasize certain parts. So this could be something like, you know, you're talking about something more complicated, a map or a cityscape or anything in nature, any, any kind of slide that has a little bit of complication to it where you want to emphasize certain parts. Or even something like just introducing your team. So we have the six positions here and, you know, that, that's the team. And most people will do something like just putting the names over them or um, kind of just going through them, maybe pointing. But if you use the spotlight effect, you could do something like this. And here I just put their name or their last name. But you could, you know, put their, their, their titles or their degrees or, you know, a little bit of text underneath each name. But then, so that this is one slide. And then we go to the next slide. And using Magic Move, it just makes this nice spotlight effect. So we're zoomed in on this physician, for example, and then finally the Dr. Walter at the end, and then we can pull out again to reveal the whole. Okay, so let me show you how to do this and then show you different examples. Okay, so how do we do this? So let's start. We have the, the photo of our team here, and what we want to do is get this smaller, so uh, because we need much more area. We're going to make a shape that's above it, and we're going to cut out a little hole in it, but we need to zoom out more and at least in in powerpoint it's easier to do this but in keynote you'll see that the maximum is 25 percent but actually you can get more well you can get more if you go to view and then zoom and you can zoom out more like that or there's a keyboard command too where you could just do command shift and then the the left um, arrow key okay so we let's make our shape and just choose a square here and we, we want it to be black but my default is white so let's make it black and then I'm going to move this around, but I'm not going to move it up and down. I'm just going to move it side to side. So this part doesn't really matter how much uh, taller it is, but I need it to be wider because I'm going to go back and forth on this. Okay, something like that. Just make it a little bit bigger so you can see better. So I think this should be big enough. And what we want to do is cut a hole in this, right? So what we do is we, uh, we have this, the shape selected, but we go to another shape and choose circle, but you could choose anything. And then just so I can see underneath, let's just kind of go like that so I can see how big do I need this to be. Also make this a little transparent. And then let's say that's what I want the shape to be. It doesn't matter right now on the transparency. So select the shape and select the photo underneath. So they're both selected. You can see it up here that they're both selected. And then go to Format and Shapes and Lines and Subtract Shapes. And there we go. Voila. Right? And so now, let me zoom out just a little more. You can see that we, we can move around. I think I can move all the way from here to here. And yeah, it's just barely, just barely safe. Right? So that, that's how you do it. Right? And then I can just move around. So let's say we start over here. Actually, what I want to do is start all the way pulled out. So I'm just going to, this is the size that I want. So I'm going to, that's going to be the second slide. So this one, I want to zoom all the way out. So I do command and shift. And I'm going to make, oops, and hold the shift key down because you want it to stay a circle. But I'm going to make it really, really big so that I go outside. Okay, it has to be a little bit bigger than that. All right, so you can't see it at all. And then the key is to use magic move or morph on PowerPoint. So I use magic move, let's say about a second. You see how that did that? Let's say about a second. So now I'll just preview it. Boom, right? You see, we got that. And then I just go to the next one. So I can just copy this 
and then move this to the next doctor. Well, let's make it a little, a little bit bigger so you can see, right? Right, so we go from here to here, but we have make sure it's ma magic move, right? So we change this to magic move. And one second. A little bit faster, right? And then we just keep doing that. So just copy and paste, then go to the next doctor. Copy, paste. Okay, so there they all are. So we'll just go here. Make sure they're all, say, one second, and they're all magic move for about one second. Okay, so if we go through it like now, we can see we go from there. Well, actually, we started. Let's go. We started here. There's our first one, and the second, and the third, and so on. Well, that's how you do it. And you could add text. So if you just, if you just have uh, text right here, of course, it's going to change when you put it here. You can, it'll disappear, but you can change. Well, let's just do it as an example. So, for example, I say name, let's put name one, and then name two. Just copy and paste, name two. And then you'll see that when we play it, we go from there, and that comes in automatically using the magic move. Well, that's how you do it. And there are many use cases. So you could be showing something more complicated like a, a, an x-ray and you just want people to focus on this one area and then you can move it around. You can, even, you can even zoom in a little bit with the photo. So you can bring the photo a little bit closer and even shrink the size. It's just shrinking the size of the shape and using the magic move in between and then pull out. And here's another one. Let's say we're talking about the Apollo 11 landing and we want, you know, there's a lot going on here, but let's focus on these there are three things. That's not the technical term, but whatever they'll call it. Let's say we're focusing on that, and we're talking about the, the rescue team or the recovery team. We're talking about that, and then maybe you want to focus on this, the important job that this person is engaged in right now, and then you can pull out to see the whole. So it's just really good for emphasizing different parts and then again pulling out to see the whole again or something like this. So even just showing you know nature or, or parts of a trip or something. So this is a beach that we went to uh, over the summer, which is kind of remarkable how clean this is. Absolutely not a speck of plastic or any kind of trash anywhere. And of course, this is on the Oregon coast. So I zoomed out of it, as you see. And then if I wanted to show you like, uh, well, that person right there is my 12 year old son. And then over here, you can see there's a lot of surfers wearing wetsuits, even in summer because it's cold. <laughs> but the air temperature is good, but the water is a bit cold. Anyway, these are just uh, more examples. So that's how you do the spotlight. It's a really cool effect. <laughs>